周教授，哎，你好，你好，不好意思，让你,你们等这么长的时间。这、so, 今天 this case is also very very difficult and challenging. Oh. So from CT scanning, you can see the lesion located at the posterior wall of the uh angle. Gastro, yeah, gastro incisor. Yeah. So the lesion was about、uh, four centimeters,、mm. and the one half of the lesion was actually. Uh, outside of the stomach,、oh. so so I just use a technique with ESD、mm. to excavate the whole lesion from muscle layer. In the center of the wound, actually we can see some we can see the muscle defect.、Mm. So we almost finished the EFTR procedure. Okay, and、uh, this is a very large. Some some mucosal tumor located you, in the gastric. You can、process. see th this is a vessel、mm -hmm. outside the stomach. Yeah. Here. This is a great momentum.、Mm. You can、uh, still see the fibers at the around the wound. It's a、mm. uh, stomach fibers.、Mm. But yeah, I、so、just、uh, use a hyper knife and uh, uh, it knife. Okay. To. Uh, dissect the whole lesion from the capsule of the lesion.、Mm. For the for the endoscopic section of submucosal layer, we must remember never cut into the tumor. Maybe this is the last cut of this、mm. lesion. So after you finish cutting, are you planning to close the defect? Yes, I want I want to use the Uh, end loop and、uh, several clips to close the whole mm. one. Mm. Okay. Now the lesion was totally、mm. cut. So just now must be very the, difficult.、Huh? A lot、yeah. of bleeding from the lesion just now. Yes, yes. yes. I, 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 before this. Live demo. I spent two hours <laughs> before the live demo. Two hours, <laughs> and now we can、uh, we can say there was no bleeding in the wound. The big problem is how to remove the whole lesion <laughs> from the patient's stomach. Yeah, what is your plan? How do you plan to remove it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 Maybe I will use use the basket to, to basket to catch the whole lesion.、Okay. So before the removal of the lesion, first I want to close the defect. Okay. So、uh, clip. Uh, clip with first, I will use. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So first,、uh, I I use a cork grasp to manage the、uh, the wound to check if there any bigger vessels. In the wand, open please. And this is a post, uh, uh, hemostasis forceps from Olympus. Get close. So the working stain I use today is a Urb Vive two hundred D. So the working set I always use is a forced forced co forced coagulation. And the cut cube mode. Okay, open, close, open, close. So Philip is in the audience. Can I ask you some question too? <laughs> sure. So Philip,、um, nowadays we have many options for closures,、okay. closing、uh, yes. defects. So、uh, Professor Chow mentioned、um, the clip. Uh -huh. And、um, uh, detachable snare. Okay. Okay. And okay. then, in the past, we use a lot of、um, the、Wait、overstitch.、Um, yeah. More recently, there's the extact. Yeah.、Uh, how do you choose which to use, and what are the advantages and disadvantages? Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, hi. Hi.、Uh, Ping Hong. Hi. How are you? Hi.、Uh, hey, Philip. Hi. hi. So、uh, I can see this is a very difficult lesion, and、uh, for this big defect,、uh, for us、uh, we would try to use overstitch. Overstitch. But I think、uh, clip and the loop、uh, is also very safe、uh, method 
I fully agree with Professor uh, Joe. This is a very good method. And the X tag is difficult because the X tag you have only four tags. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you probably yes. can only close okay. maybe one or two centimeters okay. and most of the defects. Yeah. So for this big defect, you may need multiple. Multiple, yes. Yeah. So I, th I think uh, uh, overstitch or clip and loop may be a better choice. Mm, okay. Here is a bigger vessel. Here, you see. Mm. Open. Yeah, Philip, we agree with your comments, but the uh, overstitch yeah. is not available in uh, mainland China. Okay. So Close. we are struggle with, uh, with the equipment okay. to come into mainland China. So mm. the yeah. main stain of Cut. our mm. uh, closure technique now is uh, uh, the string, string suture with the uh, end loop and the clips. Here is a big vessel from the greater momentum. Mm. Okay. Open. Yeah, open. Close. Close. Yeah. Open, 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 open. So before our live demo, uh, this case we have Close. encountered very uh, major bleedings during the procedure and very difficult case. Damage charge. Open. So first I use a forcible to stop the bleeding. Maybe if it failed, I will use the clip. Close. Since the, the vessel is very, very big. So. Let me just, okay. Quiet. Urban country treaty. Okay, okay. Close. Close. Urban. Open. Close. Close. Fire. 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 One more. So James, um, these bleeding from these big vessels, um, what is your experience in using the OVESCO for uh, control? Uh, it's pretty good, yeah. yeah? Very good, yeah. Any uh, added benefit I, over traditional clips or? Where is it? Well, we just an completed an uh, uh, RCT. Um, so okay. we, our recurrent bleeding with very large, with, uh, with ulcers have been only around 3%. Hello? So about three in Hello? 97 Hello? patients. Three in 97. patients. So you can Hi. imagine, uh, but this is somewhat different, right? This, this is, is different, yes, of course. This is in the... Uh, yeah. Mm. One more, please. Yeah. But this is, uh, this is a subserosal artery, so I guess it can be uh, anything between two to three millimeter. So, uh, and a Wesco would be good, uh, but except it's uh, quite costly. But I was just looking at uh, Professor Zhao, uh, I was just thinking, oh, yeah. earlier on Sorry. he had a very good view of the archery. Yeah. I was just thinking perhaps... Both electrically clipping. Yeah, well, I, I probably uh, clipping oh. instead of uh, coagulation because uh, sometimes it's kind of unpredictable. Mm -hmm. uh, when it starts bleeding, it takes away your view. Mm. You know. um, so, but I think I don't think uh, it's uh, a problem to Professor Zhao. He, he, I don't think his uh, heart rate would ever raise, uh, even with in the presence of such bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Close. Fire. Fire. Okay. So uh, next, I uh, will use uh, several clips to fix the end loop to the edge of the wand. So um, because of the uh, schedule, um, we have 50, around 15 minutes to show your closing. Uh -huh. So I will send you the whole... Whole clips, video clips. 
good proced procedure for you. Then you can put it on the website. Then you know. Like so uh, in the past, we will change to double channel uh, to use the uh, end loop and the clips. Now we are using this uh, with single channel with a loop uh, fitting outside the scope. Okay. So, so I just fix the end loop uh, to the uh, cup, then put the end loop into the stomach. And then we're proceeding the scope with the end loop uh, mounting on the tip of the scope and then uh, release the end loop into the stomach. So there's no need for a double channel sc scope. Yes. That fun. Yes, just. You can see the loop is uh, released in the stomach. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the, actually, the handle is outside. Okay. Good. Then we use the clip to grab the end loop and then to clip on the edge of the wound. Close. Fire. Okay. This uh, looks very difficult with such a large defect. Mm -hmm. mm. Will be interesting to to see how this is being closed. And what is the size of the loop that you use, uh, Professor Zhao? Three, Three centimeters. Three centimeters. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But the defect is larger than the loop, uh, right? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay. So uh, I, I guess when you come to the end, if you go around the, the perimeter of the defect, uh, the loop is, not, is probably not quite in, big enough. Uh, uh, you can have multiple loops. You can. You can apply several loops. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Fire. So you mean you can close the other side and then come back, coming back to the other side? One side and then, and then close the loop and then reassess how much. And then you can reach. You may not even need another loop because if the two sides are already approximated. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, yes. Close. Right. Yeah, right. So any tips on how to close this? Uh, I think uh, you are doing it very nicely, Professor Zhou. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I I think the uh, our nurse is also very important. They will adjust <laughs> the the clips with the loop, and then it uh, fits well. So you, you can need to see have very the good control of the direction of the clip, right? Yes. So our nurses will rotate the clips so that. Uh, it can find a ideal way to uh, mount on the edge of the lesion. Mm. Yes, fire. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the wand is very big. The envelope looks as small. Yes, uh, uh, I, I thought the loop was too small. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. okay, okay. But anyway, we can shrink it, the wound, and then apply another one. Uh, yep. Okay. You can touch it. Close. Close. Ah. Ah. Okay.
Ja, det tror jag. Ja. 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 So in China we don't uh, now in Shanghai we don't have the overstitch. Yeah. I mean. It's also difficult to to um, to understand if a, a, such closure would actually have any impact. Huh? I mean, yes. when you Bye. close it, uh, do you stop bleeding or do you start the outer healing or what's the purpose of closing? This? Um, I think oh. one is here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. please go. Please, please answer. Thank you. I think this is a, because Close. this is a four thickness uh, procedure, so it's not uh, just a, a dissection from the so uh, you, superficial you're, you're muscle You're concerned layer. that this will per perforate in time, so that's why you close it. Huh? Yeah, this one is uh, okay. totally a four thickness resection. So you can see, we can see the muscle defect. Oh, full thickness. You know what? Close. When you close ah. it, you can see the muscle fibers around the lesion. It looks like a not perforated, but it's a, it's a full thickness resection. So we need to close it. Oh. But I, it's I, not a. But easy you were procedure. you were just now seeing the subserosal arteries, and you were seeing the muscle fibers, and you don't see perforation as such. But it's, I guess and it, this will perforate in time if you you can argue that way. Yeah. Well, I guess closure also also protects the reduces the gas, gastric acid uh, exposure to the vessels. So I, I guess that's one of the idea that it may help with reducing. That's the, so, so, okay. Bet. Close. Fire. Fire. So it does look like the the loop is large enough. For, and it looks like there's also some slack with the slope. Uh, yes, actually, Professor Zhou is using some okay. suction, suction to yeah. release the, reduce the size of the lesion, so that defect, so that we can fit the loop uh, nicely. So Close. when he Fire. is doing the Fire. closure, he is using the suction to reduce it. Mm -hmm. Looks very good. I think because the no, 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 momentum no, no, is adhesive to the lesion, so that's why it looks not perforated to you. Open. Okay. No. Yeah. One more, please. One more. Okay. Can we... Okay. Open. Touch. Drop. Drop. 
Oke, okay, stop. Bye. Bye. No, I I I next I will uh, I use the forcep to put all tail of the clips stand. Okay, use a white hawk. Use a shell. Use a shell. Can you use it? Can use it. I can use it. So, can you help me? Say不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进去。塞不进
I, I, what we are cut that uh, the leaching into okay. yeah yes yes okay. in maybe three or two or four pieces. Uh, Professor Zhao, that was a fantastic demonstration. Uh, I think that we have to leave you. Um, so uh, thank you very much. Wonderful demonstration. Thank you. See you. See you. See you. See you.